This is the term Homo erectus. Homo erectus were homo nids, okay? The humans that evolved from apes and apes are, you know, monkeys, chimps, gorillas, orangutans are all apes. If you visit a zoo, you can see. Now, homo erectus, the ape-like ancestors or homo nids that stood up straight were called homo erectus. Now, homo erectus were actually homonids but anthropologists gave the term homo erectus why because they could stand straight and erectus erect what does erect mean straight they could stand straight we are standing straight with the help of the vertebra the set of 33 bones that makes up our spine yes we are able to stand upright because of our vertebra else we would have crawled like earthworms do you see earthworm, earthworms they crawl when you see them on the floor why because they cannot stand straight they don't have bones and also they don't have vertebra they are not vertebrates but we are vertebrates so the ape-like ancestors or homonids that stood upright were called homo erectus always remember you can relate to the term erectus erect means straight they could stand upright now features of humans over animals okay what are the features of humans over animals we are also animals but we are social animals yes and the animals which live in wild are wild animals hmm? the animals which we tame at home which we pet are called domestic animals like cows dogs are domestic animal lion tiger all those are wild animals we are social animals we meet with each other we communicate we are able to reason we are able to think so and um, one more point i will like to say this in science subject then you will learn in chapter uh, evolution of species this i will like to say this hom of homo is written in small letter uh, sorry capital letter i'm sorry it is it is written in capital letter and erectus is written in small letter in lower case why because in science we write the name of the genus in capital letter and the name of the species in small letter understood so uh, there there are certain rules when you are writing the names of genus and species in science you will learn that but for point i'm telling you make it a point Homo, this is the name of the genus, this erectus is the name of the species and the name of the species is italicized, okay, it is written in italics like this, no, in computer you see italicized, a uh, little bit slanted, so it is not possible for us to write like this all the time. What you can do, first of all, write the name of the species in small letter and underline it. That's all. Because this is the name of the genus and species. Understood? Now, coming over to the point, features of humans over animals. Uh, humans have large brain capacity. Our brain has a vast capacity. We can remember things. We can retrieve information when needed. No. How you can retrieve information? When you prepare for your exam, what do you do? You learn all the answers. And because you can remember and you understand the things, that's why you are able to write it in exam without seeing. But can an animal do it? No, an animal cannot do that. So we have a large brain capacity to reason or think. For example, if a cat is sitting near you quietly, can you go to the ask and uh, ask the cat, Hey cat, what happened to you? Why are you not mewing? The cat will not be able to communicate. Why? Because its brain is small and it cannot reason, it cannot think. But if I ask you, why did not you come to school? You can say, I was suffering from some disease, fever. I wish you all good health, but I am giving an example. You can reason, you can think, but animals cannot think. So this makes us one step upper to animals next speech we can talk speech which enabled man to communicate like i am communicating with you yes i am communicating with you that is why speech which enabled which is making me able to communicate and share knowledge i'm sharing knowledge with you yes bipedalism this bi bi means two 
and pedalism pedalism this pedal comes from pedestrians who walk on two feet so bipedalism means we can walk on two feet we we don't use four of our limbs for movement do we walk like that no we don't we walk on two feet and opposable thumb help man to grasp objects opposable thumb this is your thumb this is your four finger or index finger this is your middle finger this is your ring finger this is your pinky finger or you can say little finger now this thumb goes opposite that is why opposable opposable comes from opposite oppose if i am holding my bottle i'm showing you this is my bottle and i cannot grasp it like this without my thumb can i it will fall but if i grasp it with the help of my thumb i can hold it so this is called grasping understood this thumb goes opposite am i clear opposable thumb help man to grasp objects now in page number 22 i'm showing you here you can see evolution of human evolution from primates to modern man so millions of years ago we were somewhat like this then this and we gradually evolved and today we are modern human beings we wear clothes we are civilized we can communicate no so this my is million years ago i am writing here in short but you will not use any short forms so 23 to 15 million years ago this species okay the name of the species is not mentioned here i am telling you you can write it uh, on top of each image okay so you can remember what each was so the first one is procunzel p r o c o n s u l procunzel this was the species we were like this 23 to 15 million years ago 4.25 million years ago were australopithecus what was it australopithecus os trello pithecus okay 4 to 2.5 million years ago 1.5 million years ago were homo habilis how will we write homo habilis please see h o m o homo name of the genus habilis h a b i l i s habilis species h is in small yes it will start with small h 1 million years ago 1 million years ago we were homo erectus hmm? homo erectus 2 lakh years ago we were neanderthals neanderthals or you can say homo heidelbergensis yes homo heidelbergensis we were homo heidelbergensis it's a bigger word you can say neanderthals neanderthals or i'm writing here homo Heidelbergensis. Yes, two lakh years ago, and now we are modern human. Modern humans are called Homo sapiens. We are Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. This is the modern time. This is modern. we are modern human this is the modern time we are going back the more you go back the chronology increases yes the more you go back in time the chronology increases and 
the more you come forward the more you come towards modern time the time decreases if i'm going back to history from now to 2 lakh years ago from 2 lakh years ago to 1 million years ago from 1 million years ago to 1.5 million years ago from 1.5 to 4.25 can you see the increasing order the more we go into history the year the chronology increases yes proconsuls were proconsuls had both primitive and advanced features they had both primitive and advanced features primitive what they could they moved on four limbs also and they were bipedal also and gradually with evolution man could stand upright we no longer slouch like this we can stand upright we are comfortable standing upright yes why because we have evolved like that am i clear so this much is for today all right children please note down everything write in points you can ask me if you have any doubts if you are not able to understand the same point over and over again and again you can ask me anything any word i'm there to help you okay children enjoy learning thank you bye bye